Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan. Let's look at today's top headlines. Prograde trial confirms the safety and efficacy of ranitidine among Indian GERD patients. Prograde trial, a recent multicentric, multi speciality pan India post marketing surveillance study that enrolled 2,428 GERD patients across 21 centers in India, has reaffirmed the safety and efficacy of ranitidine for GERD management in Indian practice settings. This study has been published in the latest July 2023 issue of Open Journal of Gas. Gastroenterology. The prograde study grouped the patients into three treatment arms. 1,601 subjects received ranitidine hydrochloride 150 mg BID arm A, 753 received ranitidine 300 mg OD or BD arm B, and 74 for administered once daily controlled release formulation of ranitidine 300 mg that was arm C. All the patients were assessed for complete relief of the eight key GERD symptoms after two and four weeks of treatment. The gastroesophageal reflux disease symptom assessment scale, that is the GSAS score and heartburn severity score were used to assess the efficacy of the drug. In addition, the safety of ranitidine was evaluated too by monitoring the adverse events, serious adverse events, withdrawal due to adverse events and mortality at the end of the study period. The results of the prograde study were highly promising. 75.95% of the patients experiencing relief from the eight key GERD symptoms including heartburn, food regurgitation, flatulence, belching, dysphagia, nausea, vomiting and acid regurgitation. Furthermore, there was a significant increase in the percentage of patients who achieved sustained resolution of heartburn with seven consecutive heartburn free days. The heartburn free days were assessed for both 24 hours and seven consecutive days. In arm A, 72.82% of the patients had 24 hours heartburn free days and 66.89% had seven consecutive heartburn free days, showing the most significant improvement among the three treatment arms. Additionally, patients receiving ranitidine hydrochloride consumed significantly fewer antacid tablets, further supporting the efficacy in managing GERD symptoms. The most important point noted in the study was that ranitidine was found to be well tolerated with only 5.3% of the patients experiencing non-severe adverse events. All the adverse events related to ranitidine were mild and completely resolved requiring no intervention. Also, no adverse event led to serious adverse events. Prograde study reaffirmed that ranitidine hydrochloride safely and effectively reduces heartburn frequency and severity among Indian patients and remains a clinically valuable treatment consideration for the management of acid peptic diseases. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates.